okay guys in this tutorial we will learn about structured data type within the MATLAB as we know that we have a lot of data types like integer character boolean and some others uh, but uh, what is the difference between these these and structure is that structure actually containings containing one or more data types as its fields so uh, here we will do an example and it will help you uh, to have a better understanding so first of all uh, you just have to write anything any uh, any variable name uh, it can be your name even uh, we just wrote here student now you cannot say that this is structure in MATLAB because it is just a name it is just a variable name so what to do then you should have to uh, put two brackets and write here one dot name is equal to Nelson so what actually it is now we can say that student is now considered a structure because first of all we included a field that is name which is of character type and dot is actually showing us that name field belongs to student so we can say that now we are going to form a structure then in second line you can add a new field like student of two dot roll num is equal to roll num is equal to like uh, 23 so now you can you can write any sort of uh, word here uh, it is not necessary to write roll num but actually this 23 actually we know that this 23 is integer so it is of integer data type so the roll num uh, is actually the field and student is the structure and to indicate that roll num field is on second number and a name field is on first number so student okay sorry student of three dot uh, we can write like uh, percentage uh, percentage is equal to okay uh, 90.8 so what actually will happen dot percentage is not going to do anything first 90.8 the system knows that 90.8 is actually float data type so dot percentage feed is having 90.8 and is of float data type and dot shows us that it belongs to the student structure on the index 3 this one so now when you will write student when you will write student all of the attributes will be shown on the uh, command window okay so first of all we will run we can uh, would like structures okay 22 and save okay now what is actually showing student is actually showing structure 1 cross 3 uh, struct array with fields so fields are actually what name roll number and percentage and name roll number and percentage is actually uh, the fields or the three fields that belongs to the student structure so uh, in one uh, cross three simply means that 
there is like uh, one column three rows and it is an error that is collection collection of the fields so uh, maybe we can write name or uh, like this uh, control C and uh, after student control uh, this and hopefully it will give us the Nelson uh, run it uh, and the answer is Nelson so for this student 2 dot roll num control C control V and it will also give us Nelson and 23 yes Nelson and 23 so hopefully you got the concept regarding structures in MATLAB. Thanks for watching.